things every accounting student needs to know but are not taught. These are things that will make learning accounting much faster. If we learn these items, they'll make the learning of accounting concepts, the applying of accounting concepts, the taking of accounting tests much easier. There are also things that are expected for us to know when we go to the job. When we go to a job interview, we want to and need to have a grasp of these items in addition to accounting concepts. They may even be more important than accounting concepts when we're in an interview process. Many interview processes test applicants on these things specifically. The main reason we want to learn these items, however, is because they make life easier. They make the job easier. That's the reason that the interview process will test for them because they know that if we have a grasp of these items, we've probably learned the concepts more efficiently and can apply those concepts in a better way which is a good indication that we will be flexible enough to apply our concepts to whatever job or whatever is needed within the job that we are looking into. The first one seems obvious, but it's going to be one that many people do not master, and in not doing so, they're going to waste a lot of time as they go through their work, and that's simply to type using a keyboard, being able to type using the keyboard efficiently, the proper typing using the keyboard. Note that although typing will make your work a lot faster and is a requirement for most accounting positions, you may go into a CPA firm or a company and notice that many people don't type properly, meaning even high level positions, you might see a partner that doesn't type properly, or you might see top management that doesn't type properly and may even be proud <laughs> of not typing properly. However, typing well will typically save a lot of time. So if you're able to type well in most of the accounting jobs that you're going to look into, and as a student, if you can type well, you're going to save a lot of time. If you put in the time to learn how to type properly, then you'll be able to go a lot further in terms of speed and accuracy than if you type improperly because your movement is not going to be as efficient. So it's worthwhile if you're typing improperly to make some adjustments and type better, the better format that you have for typing, you will just naturally through typing get better at it. And of course, these days, most of the work that we're gonna be doing is gonna be using some type of keyboard. So we'll get the time to practice. We just need to be able to practice well. Also note that typing will be one of the first impressions people will have of our work. So even in an interview process, if we're asked to do anything, it might take a little time to convey the knowledge in our head. We might know a lot of things, but that takes time for us to convey that knowledge. That takes rapport building. What will be seen immediately if we do any type of work is how we interact with basically the keyboard, how we enter that information into the system. And I guarantee you even a top level management or a partner that doesn't type well will be impressed and probably more impressed if we're able to type well entering the information into the system. The next and related item is going to be a 10 key. So this is a 10 key that's going to be on the keyboard. So we want to be able to type with the 10 key. This makes things much faster. If we're going to work in accounting, we really need to know how to enter things into the 10 key. It makes things much faster. We want to be able to do this on a computer 10 key because that's what we're going to use in electronic spreadsheets. That's what we're going to use most of the time going forward. However, many accounting firms will still have 10 keys with possibly a tape and they work a bit differently. And if you go into an interview process, many times they may actually enjoy giving someone a 10 key that doesn't know exactly how they work and ask them to add something up or work with the 10 key. So it's slightly different to work with a 10 key uh, that's not a keyboard 10 key. You might want to know that and work with that. But at the least, we should be able to work with a 10 key in this format, and that'll save us a lot of time. It'll save us time as students as well. We should really be working with spreadsheet programs, entering this information with 10 keys, that will save us a lot of time when we're trying to learn and study rather than us just basically writing down numbers on a sheet of paper and adding them up with a calculator using the end of our pencil or something like that in order to add up the numbers. Just simple math is usually what we're using when we do most of accounting, adding and subtracting, but we do have a lot of numbers, so we wanna do that efficiently. Using spreadsheets, using the 10 key is the way to do that also something that is commonly tested in an interview type process. The next item is Excel or some other computerized spreadsheet program. As we work with accounting, putting data into Excel, exporting it from accounting software, or just inputting it into Excel is becoming mandatory. It's also becoming mandatory even in business areas that are outside of accounting because pretty much every type of database program can export to Excel. So we wanna be able to sort the data in Excel we want to be able to move through Excel well, 
which means we want to be able to use the keyboard effectively in order to enter the data into Excel. We also know, want to know how Excel works, how a spreadsheet, computerized spreadsheet works in order to input that data efficiently and change around the numbers efficiently. That makes accounting much faster. These are all things we can practice as an accounting student, even if they're not formally given to us in that format. In other words, even if we're given a problem that's not set up in Excel, we can put it into Excel. We can use Excel to enter that information. Many accounting courses these days are still given in kind of a paper pencil format. Even if delivered through a computer, they're basically given through a database program where we, where we can then enter that data into just a piece of paper and then put it back into the computer program rather than displaying that information in Excel. Our goal then is to take that information we're learning, put it into Excel. Think about how can we put it into Excel how can we enter it into Excel using the keyboard, tabbing through with the keyboard in such a way that would be efficient to put it in Excel, using the simple functions to sum things up, making that learning process a lot faster so we can tinker with the numbers and then in so doing, get a better idea and concept of what we're doing and work with the 10 key as much as possible. As we enter information into a spreadsheet program, we do so jumping over to a 10 key. You really want to have a keyboard that has a 10 key on it. We want the keyboard with the 10 key on the side. You want to be jumping over to that 10 key and working with it. It doesn't take much time to learn the, the 10 key. It takes a lot more time to type the 10 keys with one hand. Even if you're left-handed and you have to do it with your right hand, it doesn't take a whole lot of time because there's not too much going on with the 10 key. Well worth doing. Anytime you get a chance, you really want to take those problems, put them into Excel, use the 10 key as you do so. The other thing it's expected to know, but not to as much a degree, is the database program. QuickBooks or some other kind of database program, it's all the same kind of thing. Every kind of business that we work in is going to use some type of database program. Obviously, accounting is going to use some type of accounting database program. But just learning how the information goes into a database, how we're going to generate reports, how we're going to take those reports and export them oftentimes to Excel, then use Excel to format those reports, the relationship, the links that we can have between a database program like QuickBooks and Excel. That is going to be important. Also using these tools within a database program. How do you tab through a database program? Oftentimes the data screens, how can you maneuver through the data input as easily as possible? Oftentimes you just want to use the tab key to tab through, maneuver through the data input screen. We all have experience with that, but we haven't worked with it as much or as formally as we could. And it would be useful to get a better grasp and understanding of what a database program is, what an accounting program is, and how it relates to and syncs to the accounting software or spreadsheet programs and how we can enter data quickly. We want to be able to enter the data into these systems fast. We want to practice doing that. It'll help us learn, help us look better, give a better first impression on the job. We do have courses that are designed to implement these skills and learn these skills as you learn the accounting concepts. In other words, we'll learn the accounting concepts and then we'll work with spreadsheet programs. We'll think about how to enter the data into spreadsheet programs. We'll think about the types of formulas that are used most often to populate those spreadsheet programs. We'll think about how to set up and format a spreadsheet program. How can we use a spreadsheet program in order to learn accounting, even if we're going to enter that information into a test or if we're studying for a test, we can still learn through entering information into a spreadsheet program. We also have courses that will compare the use of financial accounting, debits and credits, entering information into Excel in the form of debits and credits as compared to a database program, an accounting software such as QuickBooks, entering the same problem into both, getting a better understanding of what's the financial debit credit transaction as compared to what's the data input screen that we will be using when we enter information into an accounting software, how are they related?